I wake up in the morning ready for the morning news Trying to find out what's been going on around the city school Oh yeah, and I forgot to even mention It's your daily morning duty, teachers please post attendance A new season and it's about to be wild Showing students full of spirit, dedication and smiles And yeah, I guess that's all I have to say But thank you all for tuning in to AHS Today Good morning, Auburn High School. It's Thursday, April 24th, a white day. I'm Ben Bracken. And I'm Rosemary Shelton, and you're watching AHS Today. Let's see what's for lunch. Now, I want to know why you ate my lunch. What are you talking about? You ate my lunch. Do I look like a smoke to you? No, you look like a nice, handsome young man, but I didn't eat your lunch. <laughs> Don't give me that. I know you ate my lunch. You ate my Sloppy Joe, Tiger Club, pizza, and barbecue sandwich. All right, so tell me, why'd you eat it? I mean, I probably ate um, the pizza the Sloppy Joe, but I didn't eat your lunch. <laughs> okay, I've had enough. Yo, Vinny, take this guy back to the studio. Happening today, Tiger Ambassadors will meet at 3.30 in the multimedia room. This meeting is only for next year's Ambassadors. The Performing Arts Department will present Seussical the Musical today, tomorrow, and Saturday at 6.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Tickets can be purchased for $10 from any cast member or in the theater room. Happening tomorrow. The library will be closed to students during 2nd, 3rd, and 4th blocks tomorrow and Monday for veteran interviews. Students will be turned away if they come. The Frisbee Club will hold an ultimate Frisbee game tomorrow after school on the front field. All students are invited to join the game. Lee County Relay for Life is tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in downtown Opelika. Team Auburn High has collected a total of $3,100. Their goal is $5,000. If you would like to make a donation, please make checks payable to the American Cancer Society. They will collect donations until noon tomorrow. You can take your donations to Ms. Osborne in room 307. The AHS baseball team has advanced to the second round of the playoffs. They will host Smith Station tomorrow in a doubleheader at 5 and 7.30. All tickets for anyone kindergarten age and above are $8. The only passes that are accepted at playoff games are the ones issued by the Alabama High School Athletic Association. Come out and support your team. Let's take a look at today's weather. Good morning, Auburn High. Today is going to have a high of 80 and a low of 58 and a 10% chance of rain. And tonight would be great to come out and see Susan Cole the Musical at 6.30. Tomorrow is going to have a high of 79, a low of 59, and a 10% chance of rain again. Back to you in the studio. Happening Sunday. All senior girls who are planning to participate in a sorority recruitment at any college or university are invited to attend an information session with their mom on Sunday. The session will take place at 2 p.m. at the Auburn Chamber on Glen Avenue. Sorority alumni in this era will help you get ready for recruitment. Happening next week. If you are a senior in Spanish club and you would like to apply for the senior scholarship, please see Senora Zuia in room 9106 to pick up the application packet. Applications are due next Monday. Three AP government review sessions will be held next week to prepare for the AP exam. The sessions will take place Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 836. Students interested in joining the yearbook staff must turn in a completed application to Ms. Shipman in room 212 by next Friday. Students interested in joining yearbook must also apply in order to be considered for the course. Now let's go to Jasmine and Katie Claire to find out what the AP 11 English classes have been working on this month. Jasmine, and this week we're taking a look at what the AP English 11 classes are doing. Hi, I'm Mrs. Robinson and I teach AP English 11 and this year all of the English teachers got together and we decided that we wanted to do a college prep unit for each English class. Our students this year will be writing resumes um, and some are doing reference letters too. Um, students are doing um, research on at least two colleges or universities that they're interested in attending and finding out information about applying. We are just hoping that this makes our students a little bit uh, ahead of the game and um, maybe they're more qualified than other applicants for some scholarships. Uh, and then that the resumes will also help them if they're getting ready to apply for summer jobs like a lot of them will be. Making the resumes in Mrs. Robinson's class was very beneficial. It helped me get an early start on how I'm going to prepare for college. Our teacher also showed us some college applications to help us prepare for the college process. Because we learned all of this in class, I feel better prepared for my future. Hey, my name is Emily Houston. I'm a junior and just recently with my English class, I did a unit on how to build a resume and how to present 
on to future colleges and all that sort of stuff, future jobs. So we just kind of went through what to put on your resume and I already had mine typed up, but it was still a really great experience and it really helped me learn what exactly to put on there, especially stuff like GPA, class rank, what endorsements you might have on your diploma, and just things like that. So it was really beneficial. Back to you in the studio. Students, your parents should have received a letter in the mail from Auburn City Schools regarding the new online registration process. This letter contains a code that will allow parents to register their students. If you have lost this letter, please contact the AHS Media Center to receive your code. If you need computer access, please go by the counseling suite between 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. The deadline to register is May 1st. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence.